Back on a hot day like today, some like to beat the heat with a book from the library. And this summer, Jenna Webster explains the competition the Clinton Library hopes will get more books off its shelves. Did you find those okay? Every good library is filled with thousands of worlds to escape to. Come some books for me. Awesome, thank, thank you. Very much. you. It's easy to get lost in those worlds too. You try not to read till two or three in the morning, but once in a while I'm guilty of that. <laughs> The ones that are shaded are the more, more recent ones that I put on the list. Easy, too, to fly through each page. I've read lots of hours, but I, I mean, I, I couldn't possibly put a number on it. But this summer, the Clinton Library is putting a number on it. Is it more based on time or pit number pages? A Clinton versus Clinton challenge. You can see it's New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and then us. All Clinton libraries competing to see who can read the most hours this summer. I did not know there were that many Clinton libraries. Kate Struble is the Clinton, Iowa Library's community engagement specialist. Enjoy. It's yeah. the first year Iowa's been part of the challenge, but it started back in 2021 as a Clinton, New York versus New Jersey showdown. It's really a challenge with themselves in a sense because people I people want to read and I've heard a lot of people saying that they want to like not look at their phones as much or maybe disconnect perhaps so reading is a great alternative to being on one's phone so far nearly a hundred people tracking 8,000 hours that's each person averaging nine hours a week with a book since Memorial Day. We are currently in the lead, but only by 200, so oh boy. yeah, we need to get on it. But a big boost to that lead could be coming. So if I'm signing my husband up too, he'll need his own sheet um, too. Virginia Egger is adding herself and her husband to the list. If you look at my card, we've read quite a bit of books. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Enjoy. And while this challenge is just for adults, the hope is that it trickles down too. A lot of kids are encouraged when they see adults reading, actually when that behavior is modeled for them. We all need to be well educated and that's part of our education is reading good literature. A friendly competition from one part of the world to another. Hey, due back on August 22nd. In Clinton, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. And the Clinton versus Clinton reading challenge goes through Labor Day. You do have to live in Clinton and be 18 years or older to participate. There are more than 40 different towns named Clinton in the U.S. So they hope this challenge can grow each summer.